6,815 pounds, Rockwood Rear Kitchen Ultralight coming in on trade here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Folks swapping it out for a Cougar fifth wheel that we have here. Uh, this has been uh, locally owned, late model, extremely well kept. You are going to be happy with what you see here. But real quick, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, what you're seeing on the front here, the folks towed this with a Hensley Arrow hitch. That is not going to be included with the RV as it's sold here at Halet RV. They are actually signing the dotted line later yet today. I'm just a very proactive instead of reactive person, and I was out here getting footage as soon as I could. So all of this is going to be removed and going with the previous owner. It will not be included with the trailer, nor are we reselling it as a uh, pre-owned hitch. Now, that being said, there's nothing but good news with this thing. It has awesome storage, great living and seating space. And to give you an idea of how gently it was used, take a look at stuff like this. The little outside grill has never been fired up by the owners. And it does not take long to notice that that grill is not the only thing that didn't get a whole lot of use. Not only was this RV used very gently and very sparingly, it was also extremely well maintained. Whoever owned this camper knew what they were doing, knew how to take care of something. This is what you hope to find in the used RV market. We've got awesome lighting in here and uh, also a vaulted ceiling. So you got a six and a half foot tall sidewall and about a two, two and a half inch mini vaulted ceiling, which it does a lot to really open it up in here. You will also see up top the centralized air conditioner you're looking at is dual ducted to really make the AC airflow more efficient so that you can really spread it around the entire room. Uh, we're looking at the uh, maple hardwood update that was, a, no, this was not the maple edition. I think I got that wrong. Um, I'm probably going to say that wrong a few times because this is what maple ended up looking uh, like a few years ago. This was the standard uh, decor that was in these Rockwoods for a few seasons. Whew. It's been a little while. The RV looks and feels newer than it is, though. That's something that's kind of really tripping me up here because a lot of what you're looking at is kind of what Rockwoods ended up looking like a few years later. Now, the TV is at a place where a lot of people aren't normally going to be real jazzed about it, but it's on a really aggressive double swing arm mount. So like right now, I've got it facing the little L lounge that we'll get a better look at in a minute, but you can twist and turn it around a bunch of different ways, so there's really not a bad seat in the house over here. Speaking of seating, let's transition our way over here into the uh, kitchen area where we first get to see the beginnings of what ends up being a lot of storage. And when it comes to storage, this one is in no shortage. You will see that uh, down here below the dinette, both sides have full storage below it. That whole dinette's an aluminum welded cage, by the way. Just like the bed that we're going to see, anything Rockwood builds, they build with an aluminum skeleton, basically. So the forward side here, the side closest to us, has a drawer good for small loose stuff. The back side has a door on the inside and outside. Very good for big stuff that you maybe need to kind of slide in and out. Uh, you'll also see full overhead storage through the super slide above the dinette and the sofa, which is like a relic of times past. You just don't really see that a lot anymore. Even in the last couple of years, even Rockwood has shaved a lot of that back to give you bigger windows. Uh, now, the, uh, <laughs> the pantry over here is massive. I mean, it's a floor to ceiling, big chunk of storage space. And another thing that's kind of cool is like as you reach in, the, the light from, you know, the food gods shines down upon you to help you see what you're doing in here. Now, uh, like most rear kitchens, you're just going to be, you know, enjoying gobs of storage capacity here. Uh, all the cabinetry is pocket screwed. Hardwood cabinet doors. This is the maple hardwood door update. And then down below here, we're going to see this in more detail all closed up, of course, but you can see that below this interesting, cool little kind of lounge, there's dual storage pockets. And, I mean, look down inside this. There's, like, lumber built inside of this thing. That is not just some, you know, cheap little camper sofa some guy stick built together. That's, that's heavy duty. Back here in the kitchen, there's plenty of outlets below the overhead cabinets with laminated ultralight inch and a half sidewalls. It's very difficult to actually put, um, well, for code reasons, you really can't put RV, uh, or pardon me, power outlets in the sidewalls. You have to kind of put them in the cabinetry, but they are there. Uh, wrap around, huge, like, signature rear kitchen 
uh, countertop. This is what you think of when you hear rear kitchen. This is what you're imagining. All solid surface material. Great little like appliance coffee bar corner in the back there. But as we get closer, you can see some nice big like pots and pan space. The larger 22 inch oven that you see in a lot of the Rockwoods, as well as plywood drawers down to the floor right here. Stainless sink, and you'll see the cover replaced in just a minute. You may have noticed that cover already there. I just wanted you to get to see this thing from every which way and every angle because this kitchen is, uh, I think it's probably one of the best uh, kitchens available in the RV industry. It'll be absolutely awesome. If you want to have this thing just parked at a destination and packed really heavy to just jump in and out all the time, oh man, I don't think there's a better layout than a rear kitchen personally. And as if we haven't seen enough countertop prep space, this RV also includes a removable massive countertop extension made from the same solid surface material as everything else. So big it actually requires its own support leg because it's it's that large. It, you, you know, you could torque it off otherwise. And just like the grill, just like a lot of other things in this RV, it was never used. You see the original factory protective film still on it. I should really give you an idea of how gently this one was used and how much it wasn't used. Now, one of the other things I kind of like about that is with that in place, once you reach your destination, it's it's just begging you to have a handy little like flip top wastebasket under it. It's a perfect spot to kind of have that available, but still sort of a little bit masked out of sight, out of mind, you know? So the uh, kind of like the slide out, this doesn't have the biggest windows of any potential rear kitchen, but I think that they're plenty large, and that is giving you the larger overhead cabinet storage space that you would otherwise, you know, lose as a result. Electric space heating fireplace over there below that, you know, double pivot television entertainment center. DVD, Bluetooth, HDMI plugs. Rockwood was way ahead of the curve on that. A lot of brands are now giving you stereos with HDMI plugs. Rockwood was doing the HDMI thing way before most folks. Now, it's a couple's rig, but if we take note, you can see that this can all kind of fold down and fold out and get out of the way and give us some pretty good guest capacity. Um, depending on how big they are, you know, you could have a, a, a little, I think, on the dinette. You could have one or two bigs on the height-of-bed sleeper sofa. But something that's easy to, to overlook, because this doesn't have the normal pair of two recliners right here, as this really cool kind of L-lounge Rockwood came up with, I think you could put another little over there. And if you take the cushions off to give you a little more room, you might be able to put a big on that thing, uh, you know, for a night or two. I think it could work. Wider 30-inch entry door. This was made before everything had those handy Moride stable steps. But it's large enough. It is stable step capable. Another thing that's kind of cool is right here by the door, you can have just this one light going, uh, kind of as a little bit of a welcome back light. The uh, bathroom is dual entry. You can get to it here from the hallway or the bedroom. And you do that due to the fact that it has a basically huge bathroom, bedroom, shared closet storage slide. The entire front slide of this thing is nothing but storage. We'll get a better look at it uh, in the bedroom. But even here in the bath area, you see some shelving, and it does actually wrap around the corner. Now, if you're curious as to what that is, um, that is the little uh, protective panel saying, hey, don't mess with the stuff back here uh, for the, uh, the water filter, water pump location that we'll see outside to make sure that, you know, you don't accidentally put cargo in there that's going to shift and cause something to break. Now, this is a six and a half foot wall, but with that vaulted ceiling in the skylight, it's very... Tall goofball friendly, and I, I, I've come up with that name because I'm tall and I'm a goofball and I can fit inside that thing, and it's pretty friendly to me, so I think she's pretty good. And tons of leg room, hip room, shoulder room, fluffy, friendly uh, toilet situation. And I like that I can actually get dressed in here. After I get out of the shower and I grab my clothes, I can get dressed and not have to put on a free show for the neighbors. That's not exactly my kind of thing. Uh, up top, you see one of those XL vent fans, and that will also have a, uh, a matching um, Max Air vent cover above it out on the roof. That's a standard Rockwood factory thing. What is not standard is the vent here in the bedroom area. The previous owners installed a, a vent cover above that as well. Now, that's not a power vent fan, but it uh, they did have that so that you could open it for airflow. Now, up front is just that awesome looking front windshield, but you see the day-night shades found throughout the entire RV. They can really privatize everything off. Now, between the ceiling vent and the side window over here, you can still get some good bedroom airflow. So I think Rockwood did a good job balancing that. 
You see it doesn't have dual hanging closets like most travel trailers. Remember we have a full closet storage slide we'll see in just a second. Scrolling down we see those super CPAP friendly side stands. And then down here below the queen bed, if we lift this up, you can see there's just a whole ton of storage below this thing. It is absolutely awesome for packing large, uh, you know, camping smaller than a fifth wheel. I, I'd call this a good, you know, mid-size conventional travel trailer kind of size. But you can pack the life out of this thing. Now, similarly, we get done looking at that easy walk around queen bed. And we get ourselves over here to that closet that I've mentioned a few times. And we open that up and you go, oh, wow, yeah, no, we can really spend a lot of time in here. Because on the right, you've got a larger hanging clothing storage capacity than the side stands, uh, the little side wardrobe closets would ever offer. And then that huge pass-through, like, dresser shelving uh, beach towel space there in the slide as well. Now the wall opposing the bedroom is all set up, well opposing the bed in the bedroom, I guess I should say that, uh, is all set up for TV and entertainment purposes. I don't see where the previous owners ever did any of that. Doesn't mean you couldn't though. Now earlier I kind of described this as really awesome for destination use. This is a little bit of the reason why with the super slide retracted, we can still get to the bed and bath no sweat. But you really do limit your kitchen access. So it, unless you're going to do the Dukes of Hazard yeehaw to get back there to pack your cabinets up, uh, you're not going to get too much. Now, this is a rack and pinion slide, which means you can open it partially, get back there, pack stuff up, and then reclose it. That's fine. You won't mess this slide up doing it. You just don't want to use it for any length of time like that. Just in and out, and then close her back up. So, great for destinations. If you need to access it while traveling or in storage, maybe not the best floor plan for you. That's where a, a rear living room can actually, or a rear bathroom, can usually kind of reign supreme in that regard. But for destinations, for storage, for prep space, nobody touches a rear kitchen. Nobody. And I figured we'd hop back outside right where we first stepped inside, and that was by looking at that never used grill. You see the little side shelf table going with it. it gives you a place to put your meat platter when you're, you know, not flipping burgers or brats or what have you. Up top, this is a uh, outdoor hookup if you wanted to add an outside TV. All your other hookups for that will be uh, in the near vicinity. This has a drop frame, kind of like a fifth wheel, which gives it this massive wide open front storage compartment. It's something you find on the Rockwood Ultralights here at Halet RV, uh, along with things like the Eagle HTs at Halet's. And then little stuff like this. Rockwood got the idea. You can just use a bunch of like uh, baggage door magnet holdbacks for uh, holding your, uh, you know, crank handles and stuff like that, your override handles. Little little details like that. Just Rockwood doing Rockwood things I always appreciate. Up front, next to that hitch, which is not to be included with the camper, it's, it almost sounds like the, the Lord Voldemort, the hitch which shall not be spoken of. You get the idea. A little simple side mount solar prep plug right there. Uh, larger 30 pound uh, propane tanks, always a crowd pleaser feature. This a uh, couple years old, uh, when this was made, this was the standard exterior, and then there was a champagne and tan exterior, which is what you would have seen a lot of here at Halet RV. Although, the uh, the base structure, nothing changes between that. The, uh, all the skin, the decals, everything on this looks great. There is, I'm not seeing sun fade or flaking or issues or anything like that. Factory installed slide awnings, adding some extra layers of protection here. That's something you also find a lot of on the Rockwoods here at Halet RV. It does have an enclosed belly. It does have, uh, you know what? Actually, before I say 12 volt tank heaters, I know that ours at Halet's Wood, at the time this was built, that was optional. That's something I will want to double check on before I go committing to that for you. But you can see a nice clean underbelly. And you're also going to benefit from that four wheel independent torsion axle and suspension system that you know you really know and love Rockwood for. All the windows are UV tinted to keep the sunshine out. Frameless windows on the exteriors with sliding airflow windows on the slide sides to give you good air. You see that little baggage door in the face of the slide. That actually feeds directly under uh, that uh, rear dinette bench, the one closest to the rear wall refrigerator, which is just kind of a nice handy inside outside access point. There's a uh, rear camera on the back again, because I'm kind of doing an early access on this. I don't know if that camera is intended to stay on this trailer or if that is going to migrate to the owner's new trailer. So uh, definitely keep that in mind if that's a feature you're really curious about. Uh, you know, before you go signing the dotted line on anything or driving for multiple hours away to come review the trailer, maybe keep in mind that uh, you might want to ask about that basically before you go traipsing across the countryside. I've always liked rear kitchens like this for the reason that 
your campsite patio area. It's just, there's no slides. It's just wide open. You have that awning open. You have all the picnic table room in the world over here, as long as your campsite allows for it. There's just tons of open camp space. Now this back here is a little access panel to things like our water filter, um, you know, for our kitchen water system. But below the kitchen countertop, there's a chunk of space next to that sofa you can't get to. So Rocco said, well, pff, we ain't gonna waste it. We're gonna open it up and let it be storage outside. And you'll see that even a non-primary and off baggage door, I guess you could say, still has the magnet hold back, still has the metallic slam latches, nicer hardware like that. It's what I've always called Rockwood, doing Rockwood things. And even up top, she looks absolutely fantastic. I don't see sun fading, flaking. I don't see uh, sealant issues or anything like that. Actually, it looks like the seals have already once been proactively touched up with a little kind of just pre preventative, uh, you know, um, layering here and there where the folks look like they need it. So everything that I can see on this indicates it has been very well kept and proactively maintained, not reactively repaired. And folks, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure when it comes to these campers. And that, that frankly, it might be a greater ratio than that. Anyway, SkyFi, uh, SkyFi? Ha! <laughs> Wi-Fi Ranger, Sky 3 system over here. Basically built in signal access router, kind of repeater point. Max Air vent cover over that big uh, bathroom Max Air fan. But you see the folks also put a vent cover up here above the bedroom to give you that good airflow as well. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think this one is a winner. And look, I mean, you can even see where they put fresh sealant down. They scrubbed the roof super clean on there to make sure it had a, a good even take. They these, these folks knew what they were doing and they did it right. I'm sure glad we got this camper here for you. So give us a call. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. We do it all at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.